So, hello, barons and baronesses, so oh, beef dip. I am back for more spookiness in the house jump scares. So, what's gonna happen? Oh, I don't know, probably some jump scares. I mean, what else would you kind of do in a game like this? Just be not jump scared? It doesn't work like that. Oh yeah, where we last left off, this guy who's leaving these romantic notes had drank some wine that had a very metallic taste. Gee, I wonder what that was. As someone who's drank blood, I know the answers. Anyways, as I creep you out further, I shall make sure this house just does as bad. Does just as bad. Sorry, I kind of got distracted by the ringtone of the elevator. Let's just save to be safe. So, 150. Let's proceed onward to 151. I am too, I'm curious. I too am very wooden ceilings and floors with brick walls. Okay. I can dig it. Except I don't have a pickaxe. A skeleton! Again! A freaking cartoony skeleton on cardboard! I should probably turn this down. A cartoony skeleton in cardboard! Yeah! That, that makes me jump. Anyways, onward. Let's see how the door goes. Do I get a gazombie yet? Gazombie! Cherry, can you stop going into jail? You too, table. And Cherry Jr., what'd you do? Knock over a kid? What's gonna go on in here? Oh, I don't know. A door. Ooh, ambiance. I like, I dig. Oh no! The Gazambi's back! The Gazambi wants my booty! He wants my booty! Oh! You ain't gonna get my booty? You ain't no pirate? You can't get my booty? Come on, it's a zombie boy. As I go through the room of chairs and goo, I run away from you. Haha. <laughs> room 161. Oh no, I quite could look at stuff or something there. 163. I wish I could actually stay in these rooms sometimes because I don't want to just have to keep running. But apparently I have to from the gazombie. A gazombie that wants my booty. 164. Let's run again. No, spider! What the? A flashlight? Oh no. When did I get a flashlight? Lockers? What I going through? Am I going through the era of horror games? What madness is this that gives me a series of doors? 165? Ho 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 ho! Oh! You don't like me! Okay! Fine, I don't like you either. This is a creepy school! I get it now! It's like Corpse Party, except worse, and more pixelated. If you've ever played Pit Corpse Party, parental guidance is strongly advised. Locked. Who is in here? Any ghosts? Nope. Oh, apparently it's text I can't read because I am only unilingual. If that's the right word. I know a little bit of Spanish, but I don't know this language. I don't want to say the wrong language because I don't want to offend anybody. Because I like to be a nice guy. I think I'm a nice guy. One in there, there's the ghost man. And in here, another ghost man. Wait a second. Cube! Sorry, I'm a little bit of a nerd. That little character back there. If none of these guys want to slash. Uh, what is this? The Room of Madoka? It's there. I said the name of the series for you. Frickin' Cube. What do you- Hey! I'm sorry! Sorry! Jeez, I wanna look at Cube. Why do you be a- We gotta be a jerk about it. Contract, eh? The only contract I'm gonna make is to make sure I don't die in here. And some raptor heads. So apparently this is, I guess, the Madoka school after the witches took over. 
That sucks. So then there's just the shadow ghosts of the past magical girls. If I'm sounding too nerdy, let me know. Because only a magical girl would have a friggin' school like this. Where everything is so horrid. In fact, I wonder if it was because of Marika and her friends that this all happened. Could it really be true? I thought the fairy tales about the ghost-eating children who sneak in after class was just to keep us from disobeying. But Matsuri is still missing. Apparently I'm going through different realms of horror. So, as Kube has obviously taken the lives of some people, and the noise has occurred, I feel I shall be getting an encounter with something kind of spoopy soon. Maybe Kube. Kube, why are ye? Do I start running yet? Oh, I guess I do. Oh, horror girl. Oh no, you don't, woman! Don't you be doing it to me! Don't you be doing it to me! Ah oh, man, she's a chaser. 166, except she's actually creepier. M Matsuri! Why are you trying to kill me? This is nice and creepy. But so cute! Chair and table, what are you doing in there? More furniture and doors. Am I... Nope, she's still chasing me. When am I going to get away from this lady? I do not like being chased by a ghost girl in an apron. It's kind of weird. Something that is an apron or some kind of robe. Don't make me keep clipping. Stop it. Or do I going to get slashed? Eh, run, man, run! Wee. No, you don't. Don't you harm at me. I do not like your music. It is very creepy. Maraka would not like that. Sakura would not like that. Was that who that was? Apparently. It's all making sense. But not really. Kyoko. Was it you? Or was it... Hamura Akemi? Some of you guys aren't getting these jokes, I know. But Hamura Akemi is the only one with the black hair, which would make me think, oh, that's probably her. The ghost of Hamura haunts the school, ever looking to save her friend. Is this that game dev room again? Oh, it is. I'm really starting to assume these guys are other Let's Players, judging by these two pictures of two guys screaming. In fact, I have yet to see my face on my recordings yet because I haven't edited them. Oops. <laughs> But hey, I'm just having fun with this. Besides, what could go wrong? I'm in room 182. But, do I blink in 182? No, I don't. No blink 182. No bad music puns. Table. Tablet. Tably. Hmm. That music sounds kind of haunting. Does that mean I'm going to get chased soon? I don't know. Who is going to be the new chaser? That is the mystery to me, because I would like to know who is going to chase me next. Is it going to be the Gazambi, Clickety Clacker, or Homoda? Homoda! No, sorry, Homoda. I keep saying Homoda. Then again, I'm not really too sure if I'm getting that right in the first place. Homoda. Yeah, it's Homoda. There we go. Gotta get my nerd facts straight. Ooh, claustrophobia! 192? Over to 193? Oh! Long hallway! The Woo! Dang it, Mario Skeleton! Dang it, Scully! Quit jumping at me, Scully! I don't dig your jumps. Piano Pumpkin! What are you doing here? Are you coming here to make your concerto? Are you well seated? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What does this button do? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Ooh. Which one did I do? Special database. Space one. one. <laughs> oh. 
type, docile, total fatalities, four, method, heart attack. Well, I haven't died yet, so I'm going to survive this little guy. A cardboard cutout figure that springs out from the walls proved not very effective against healthy subjects. I guess I'm healthy. Specimen two. Ah, there we go. That's where he is. Type, active, fatalities, 137. Method, physical tearing. A mostly semi-solid base specter that frequently changes matter states. That frequently changes matter states. There we go. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. I'm too fast for you. So, that's our gazambi. Who's Spotsman 3? Oh, that's the spidery thingy. <laughs> oh, that's Subject 5. Active in testing. Total fatality is 43. Method, infectious bites. Didn't seem that poisonous yet. A test specimen being developed at GL Labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it is adequately effective to average subjects. Yeah, not effective enough. Specimen 4. Ah, Hamura! How you doing? Active. Total fatalities, 85. Method, consumption. A 14th century spirit that was contained and relocated here. Tests have yet to reveal origins, but all relevant information has been placed into testing chamber. Proved effective, but not greatly more than previous specimens. That's this one, 501, right? Or is that it? Nah. Specimen 5, who are you? Oh, you're gonna be a new one. Uh, I don't look forward to this. Type active, known fata total fatalities, 168, question mark. Method unknown. A creature found inside the church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with the specimen. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective against subjects with mental issues or weak wills. Huh, I guess he's gonna be flashing some evil imagery at me. That's usually how these kind of guys work. So, subject five, what's subject six? Oh, there's more subjects I saw next. Mm, let's see. Okay, I guess that's the uh, max um, for character enemies in here. So, I'm assuming those are the only enemies for right now until this game gets further development. I don't know. So let's uh, modify a house layout. Oh, man. Cat DOS. Now that I actually was able to read that correctly. Okay, is something going to jump at me from behind like in uh, Bioshock Infinite? Let's see. The bad thing about turning around is you always leave yourself open to being scared on the spot. And 196. Four more to 200. Spooky spook. Spooky spook, I curse you for being such a spoopy ghost. Why would you do this to me? Why would you spoop me? Oh, look. It's a room 200. Oh boy. Let's see our new note, shall we? I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes. So that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. I put them back. See? I put them back. It's not me. So, as this guy gets more suspicious, I think that since I've cleared these 50 rooms in a good amount of time, I shall probably cut this little episode off here. So, thank you for watching. I am Jesse D. Or just Jester de Rama. Thank you for watching, definitely, because I shall now say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time. Yeah. Alcohol dehydrates, you dumbass! I am not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Strongly metallic. Gee, I wonder if he drank blood. Oh, yes. First thing I do is look at a red bottle and think it's automatically red wine. And when the fact it has a metallic taste, I don't think it's blood. No!